Hi guys welcome to our channel Let's Decode. This is the answer for the question in our last video. Instead of giving time variable, we directly give the step time in the block itself. Let's get into our video. In this video we will know how to get the response of a system for various inputs. Start this video with first order system. We will find the step of the system with transfer function 1 by ts plus 1. Where t is time constant of the system. We will find for t equals 1 and t equals 2. Open Simulink. Go to Simulink Library Browser. Go to Continuous Blocks. We have transfer function block here. Drag and drop this to our workspace. This transfer function is same as we want, so we don't make any changes to it. Now to sources and find the step signal block. Also find the scope block. Connect these blocks. Run the model. Yup we got it. It's same as the step response of a first order circuit. Search for another transfer function block. Now change the T value. Connect these blocks. Run the circuit. Observe the output. As T increases response time also increases. Now observe the output for ramped input also. Yup we got it. Connect the input to the scope. So we can compare the results. This is our original input. This yellow line is the response for t equals 1, and this blue line represents the ramp response for t equals 2. Now we will get the response of the second order system. Transfer function of a second order system is as shown below. We find the response at natural frequency wn equals 5 and zeta equals 0.5. So our simplified transfer function is 25 by s square plus 5s plus 25. Get back to Simulink. Remove this blocks. Now open this transfer function property. Enter the numerator and denominator as shown in the transfer function. Now run the model. Yup got the response similar to an underdamped system. Let's put another block with different parameter and observe the output. For omega n equals 5 and zeta equals 1, we have this values. Yup we verify that our system is critically damped from the response. Similarly add another block for over damped system with zeta value of 2. Yup, we got response for different values of zeta. Instead of step input connect the ramp input and observe the output. Is the output same? Let us know from the comments section. We will meet you in our next video. Until then stay tuned to our channel Let's Decode.